to do what your family has ever never done. Are you hearing me? Yes, sir. Uh, you, you need to break this issue of failing to marry. Thank you, sir. You understand? Do you want to marry? Yes, sir. Uh -huh. Yes, sir. But you are failing. Yeah. Are you aware you are failing? Yes, sir. Uh -huh. Yes, sir. God loves you. You need to break this thing. It's a spirit, this thing. Thank you, sir. So it's fighting everything you are doing. Thank you, sir. If you can check, you are trying to do many things. Yes, sir. Huh? Yes, sir. You are trying to do many things, but nothing is coming up. That's true. But because you are here today, God is going to lift you up. Thank you, sir. Are you coming here for the first time? No. You have been here before? Yeah. I touch your heart here. Come on. Take it. Jesus. You are blessed. You, sister. You. This one. You. I want to pray for you. I want to pray for you. Don't come. Just stand there. I want to pray for you. You hear me? Amen. I saw a young woman by the name of Angela. You know her? Uh, no. Dineo. Oh, yes, I do. I do know her. Mm. I want to pray for you. I believe you know this woman with a purpose. This is a young woman who loves business. Yes, absolutely. She does. Huh? She does. Mm. So by praying for you, I'll be praying for this lady. Amen. And your friendship, don't allow it to go out of your hands. Amen. You hear me? Amen. Because I believe you people are going to help each other. Amen. Huh? Amen. And the issue of the post, issue of the post of your husband, don't worry. Amen. God will give him a post here. In Jesus' name. Jesus mighty name. Jesus name. Greetings in the wonderful name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Viewers all over the world. Welcome to Charis Missionary Church. This is our Sunday life service under the leadership of Apostle JB and Prophetess T. Imaganesa. With me here today is my sister who was located during the service by the man of God who ministered upon her life. Ma'am, kindly please tell us your name and tell us where you come from. My name is Lenny. I'm the Varini Nechevera. I am from Tembisa. Today during the service, Prophet Andres Simona located you and ministered upon your life. Would you kindly please tell us in detail what he said to you and please confirm it. Um, so he basically said to me that there is a lady by the name Angela and I was confused obviously because I don't remember an Angela. Then he went on to elaborate and say her name is Dineo and that she's in business which is absolutely true. Um, she is in business, she is in my circle and yeah she say, he said that she is in business and that I shouldn't allow the friendship to dissipate. Yeah so yeah do confirm that it's true. She is in business and her name is Angela and Dineo. And what else did the Prophet talk to you about? <laughs> he spoke to me about uh, my husband. He said that the post that we've been worrying about, which is very true, is we shouldn't worry about that. And yeah, that's about it. And how has this particular post that the men of God mentioned been affecting your lives? Um, so it's pretty much difficult to, you know, be married and be far from each other. So we've been hoping that he comes to the side so that we can start, you know, our lives and planning things and things like that so that's why it's been affecting us and yeah I'm quite excited that actually God saw that we worry about it so yeah pretty chuffed about that and how do you feel that today you were located by the man of God who ministered upon your life I am happy scared confused <laughs> but mostly happy that um, God sees us and even the you know the little things that we cry about he actually does hear us yeah. And how would you encourage somebody who's going to come across this clip? Come to Charis. <laughs> come to Charis Missionary Church. That's where it's at. But yeah, more than anything, really, um, because this is where I got my help, I would encourage people to come here because I have seen God work in leaps and bounds. And I would encourage you to come here to follow Jesus and to just commit yourself to God. Can you just come? This lady, come. Yes. Come, the issue of bleeding makes you to have questions of what is happening to you. Eh? That's, that's true, Daddy. Uh, you are questioning why this bleeding? Why? Yes. Eh? That's true. Can you stop questioning yourself? Oh yes. You understand? Yes. Because sir. it makes you to have doubt. That's true. 
uh, you're beginning to doubt and have fear. That's very true. Especially when you feel pain here. Yes, sir. Eh? There's a pain here. Yes. Where? This here, side. on the side here. So, come on, you demon. It's a demon, this one, that is causing this. It's a demon. Jesus. Greetings in the wonderful name of our Lord Jesus Christ, viewers all over the world. Welcome to Charis Missionary Church. This is our Sunday live service under the leadership of Apostle JB and Prophetess T.E. Makaniza. With me here today is my sister who was located during the service by the Apostle who ministered upon her life. Ma'am, kindly please tell us your name and tell us where you come from. My name is Sister Anna. Um, coming from North Northwest in Litabile, that's my home, but I stay in Tembisa. Yes. Today during the service you are located by the man of God who ministered upon your life. Would you kindly please tell us in detail what he said to you and please confirm it. Yes, I thank God that I was located actually um, on a seven day pr uh, prayer and fasting. So when I was coming uh, to church, I was declaring that today I will be located and definitely that's what happened. Uh, the man of God spoke about Jesus. the bleed, the type of bleeding that I'm experiencing, and yes, and he also said that Jesus. this kind of bleeding gives me a lot of doubt, causes me to have doubt and fear, um, which is very true. Um, it actually started about uh, six months ago where I started having a strange bleeding. You know, a woman would have a once in a while, a month, a menstrual bleeding and it will just go and come back another month. So with me, it will be a bleeding that will come two to three times a month. And uh, this week I will bleed and it will stop. And the following week it will come back again and it will stop. And it's the way it is coming out, it's very dark. So I've been asking myself, what is this? Um, when it comes to the fear and doubting, as the man of God said, this is a spirit. Yes, um, for the past few months, I've been having a lot of doubt. I doubt um, what, a, what God has placed in my life. Um, I'm doubting my Christian walk. You know, um, I even have fear that I don't know what will happen in future. And, you know, questions in my mind. If God doesn't bless me, how will, I, how will it show that I'm a child of God? So the issue of doubting and um, as he explained that the issue of doubting and fear it's, it's caused by this type of bleeding which I think maybe that is an attack from the enemy so that I will not have confidence in the Lord and also what he is going to do upon my life. So I really thank God for the prophecy and um, he prayed for me and I got delivered. And I believe that fear and doubt, as well as this type of menstruation, is gone out of my life for good. Hallelujah. And how do you feel that today the man of God located you and ministered upon your life? I am blessed. I feel blessed. And um, it's not just a thing that it will just happen that you will be located. It takes prayer. And uh, when you pray a lot, when you fast, when you long for it, when you have faith that today when I go to church, definitely they must speak about my life, what is going on. It's, it's an expectation. We are children of God. We should always have something that we expect when we go to church. Also, when we come out of, out of church, we go to our homes. We should expect God to do something in our lives. So what I'm trying to say is that um, I, I feel... I am blessed um, to have been located. I am highly favored and God is God. I am in God's arm. You know, he's carrying me. He is walking with me. I believe that is the reason why it happened that I should be located. And God wanted to deal with what I was asking myself, all the doubt and fear, because doubt and fear does not belong to a child of God. So I think that is how God wanted it to be handled. Amen. And how would you encourage somebody who's going to come across this video? Wow. Um, I would like to tell my fellows in Christ that believe in God, believe in his prophets, believe in the apostles. When you go to church, don't doubt. Keep on praying and fasting for your issues of life and God will attend to it. He uses a man of God, a prophet and an apostle to speak over our lives. 
always have an expectation when you come to church and you will see God will definitely touch your life and there will be changes in your life. Amen. There's a child by the name of Tebo. There. Come here. Come here. That one. That lady. I'm seeing a young child by the name of Tebo. It's you. Huh? Where is Tebo? Huh? I'm staying with her. Huh? I'm staying with him. You stay with him? Yes. Is it your child? No, it's my nephew. That's why I'm saying a nephew. By the name of Tebo. Yes. How old is Tebo? He's nine. Mm. I want to tell you something about Tebo. You know, this Tebo, uh, many of you here, you grew up in a family that does not know God. You hear me? Yes. But Tebo, I'm seeing God making Tebo a very great man. And you, don't worry about the issues of marriage. You hear me? Amen. Because I'm seeing marriage issues and a job. So God will see you through. Amen. God will bless you. Let me stretch my hand to you. Because the issue of your marriage, sometimes it's a problem. Yes. You must not worry. Amen. I pray that God must bring peace. Amen. But this young child called Trevor will be something else. Amen. Where is, your, where is the mother? Is at work. Mm. Let me stretch my hand to you. <laughs> Come here, run here. Just give me 20 minutes. We are closing now. Satan has drawn a line that no one will be rich in your family. God will start by you. Yeah. I say God will start by you. Yeah. Are you hearing what I'm trying to say?